Today we're going to take a look in binding structures and units as been requested by the one of the subscriber. At first I would like to address that uh, binding units and create them and structures and create units faster from the buildings they are important in the terms of uh, army wise is very important in competitive Battlefield Mother F. As such for Battlefield Mother F1, 2 and Rise of the Witch King because it's improve your timing and allow you to move quicker and most efficient with your army. Let's start with an example. Oh, and by the way, binding is considered very useful, but you get to use hotkeys as well to be as much efficient as possible. So let's get started with those. You got to remember all the hotkeys, or at least 50% of them, to be able to play efficient. Let's get started with creating some uh, first structures. So, first thing that you want to do is to press B. So you will select your builder and create a tunnel. Because I'm playing with goblins, tunnel is on T button. Now, select the other builder and create C to create goblin lair. Of course, for every structure is another hotkey, so you got to learn them all. Now, press Ctrl, and for example, I always pick my first building on buttons, uh, on bind and key 2. So I press Ctrl, press my building, I press 2. We got number 2 near my structure, so I know that this structure is binding to letter number to number 2. Now, why this is so important and why hotkeys are important? Let's check the example. I will press W to create Goblin Warriors, T and, uh, B and T to create another two tunnels from both of my builders, and select the PowerPoint. It doesn't actually matter, we're gonna go with Warchant. As you can see, I'm not using uh, my mouse uh, in other way than only place my buildings when I want them to stay. It's increased my APM, so action per minute. If more actions I will be able to make in the, in the major minute, then the most efficient I could be. Now, if you want to select and bind your unit, you get to select an unit, con uh, press Ctrl, and for example, my first unit always go for number one. So this unit will be number one. There is a number one on those Goblin Warriors. Now, it's the most important thing with binding is that you can switch to your structure whenever you want. As you can see, I do not need to go back into my base to select my structure to create a unit. When I'm going with my units and I would like to harass my opponent and when I saw that I got enough resources to create another mm, unit and make it efficient, I can just go like that. I'm still near the army that I'm going to attack with but I'm on the menu of my goblin cave by pressing key 2. So, now I can press W and go back with these uh, goblin warriors, because they've been in, in danger. As well, if I don't want to waste time with uh, creating these structures, and I know that I need to create more tunnels, for example, I can just fast press B and T twice, because I get two builders, and get back to my army. So I will not lose them for some stupid reason, like... I'm not watching on them or something like that. When I hear that my Goblin Warriors button just appear, I can press uh, button 2 and create, for example, archers. But I don't, don't go like that. You're not clicking on those. You just need to remember the hotkey. Because you don't want to move your mouse outside the area that you want to click on map. So you just go like that. And you're just going to bind your goblin cave and you will be able to create goblin warriors without moving back to your to your base as you can see now i'm gonna lose my battalion because i wasn't paying attention that is why it's very important to be able to bind your units and to be able to use hotkeys officially if i want two more goblin caves i can do it now i can select another battalion as one or maybe this battalion will be on hotkey number three 
you just need to remember that you get only 10 binding keys from 0 to 9 so you can only bind 9 structures or 3 structures and uh, like 7 units or 7 packs of units so we cannot just uh, go randomly with it you cannot for example bind those goblin uh, caves on one key I cannot select them all and just bind three of those goblin caves on for example bind two I need to do it separately so I get first goblin cave on mm, hotkey two and then the other on, go uh, on goblin cave on hotkey three for example this is how I bind my structures and I definitely can move really quickly from each other so I will not waste time, my APM will rise and uh, I will play more efficiently. This is how mm, most of the competitive players play it nowadays. They, all, um, they always use hotkeys if possible. And definitely you need to just learn how to use them all. For example, I don't need to... You can, for example, select your fortress and go and create some hero without using your mouth. Your, uh, your mouse. Uh, your mouse actually is out of the base. So, for example, I select my fortress. I can, for example, select some upgrade without watching on the fortress. For example, fire arrows. But you definitely need to remember all the hotkeys to play more efficiently and without wasting time on your base. You can upgrade, for example, your barrack if you remember all the hotkeys. This is why biting and hotkeys are mm, placed in the same same cap, same topic because it's not going to go separately because it doesn't matter if you're going to bind your structure for example and trying to get for example upgrade so you're going to bind and then click on uh, the button over here click on the upgrade button with your mouse you're gonna have to lose track on your units for example that you definitely don't want to do And that's for example it. You don't need to, to be honest, do more things. You can select for example all units with Q button. But you definitely need to learn every lot of those uh, buttons for yourself. Because there is a long list of buttons that you get to learn actually. I think it may, uh, I make it clear to you that you can bind your structures and units as you can see with mm, 10 buttons so you can move a uh, little bit more efficient and not uh, lose track of your units while creating other other mm, armies other other units but you definitely need to remember all the hotkeys which is mm, not that bad not that hard if you play for the longest time but definitely it's not that easy if you're just starting the game okay it's going to be it I hope uh, it will help you understand and that you will use binding more efficient and that your gameplay will be better with it see you next time and have a fantastic day Bye-bye.